we've done it. We've found new construction homes in Atlanta starting in the 330s. That's right, not an Atlanta suburb. We are in the ATL in Fulton County. So if you're moving to Atlanta and you're looking for a bargain on new construction homes, then this is the video for you. We've got a lot to talk about today. First, I'm taking you on a ride through the neighborhood and then we're taking you inside two amazing floor plans that this community has to offer. And I'm doing things a little bit differently in this video too. So stick around and let me know what you think of the new format. And not only am I going to show you these great homes in this awesome community, I'm also going to tell you exactly how you can snag one of these bad boys for yourself. And be sure to stay tuned until the end because you better believe that this builder is offering fire incentives. But I'm not giving away that little nugget until the end. Also, if you like this community or you're just ready to start your home search today, be sure to give me a call, shoot me a text or email me now. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. All right, you wanted it and here it is. We are in Dillon Park by none other than DRB and they are everywhere right now, guys. I'm telling you, this is like the third one that we've done so far. Dillon Park is only 15 minutes from the Atlanta airport and only about 20 minutes from downtown Atlanta. Homes start at just over 1,400 square foot and go all the way up to almost 1,900 square foot. As you can see, the lots aren't huge, but you're in Atlanta. The city is literally your backyard. Right now, Dillon Park is in the Seaborn Lee Elementary School District, the Camp Creek Middle School District, and the Langston Hughes High School District. So, you got kids, that's where they're gonna go. Just looking at this neighborhood, I mean, it's a great little neighborhood. Uh, you can see that it is starting to be spring. The weather is starting to change the color of the grass. You do have a little bit of weeds popping up, but hey, that's how it is. I mean, this neighborhood looks great to me. Um, it's a nice little neighborhood in Atlanta. Oh, there's someone that needs to cut their grass. <laughs> uh, they're probably a real estate agent like me. Things have gotten so crazy and they just don't have time for anything. But all kidding aside, that's probably something that will be addressed by the HOA. There is an HO in the neighborhood but that's a good thing. Uh, it keeps the values of the homes up. I know a lot of people tell me that they don't want an HOA, but in reality, they, I mean, really do. I mean, yeah, certain people can't get an HOA, get in an HOA. Uh, maybe it's because they have a work truck or something like that, or maybe a, a home business. Uh, maybe you want a farm or something with some animals that you can't have in an HOA. And that's, that's understandable, but HOAs have positives too that a lot of people don't think about, you know, um, making sure that the grass is cut, making sure people aren't doing things to lower your property value. Um, you know, you go into some neighborhoods and they have, you know, it looks like a junkyard out front, no grass, with cars on cinder blocks because they ain't got no wheels on them. Um, here you've got a nice neighborhood and it's supposed to stay that way. And that's because of the HOA. So that's, that's nice. Um, it's it's a great little neighborhood in Atlanta and you can't beat that. Uh, there, it looks like they're building a few more homes. I believe as of right now, they have about 17 more lots available in the neighborhood. So they're still coming along. There's a model home there. There's another finished home that uh, we're gonna see today. We're gonna see both the model home and that other furnished home. Uh, and we're gonna get inside of them. It's a small little neighborhood, it's not huge. Uh, we're about done through here. All right, so now that we've driven around Dillon Park, let's get inside some of these homes and check them out. And I'll tell you a little bit more about how the market is going has changed in the last few weeks. But first, let me know in the comments what you think about the community and also let me know what's important to you about a neighborhood. All right, so this first home that we're in is the Wallace model. It's one of the larger models in Dillon Park, and it's just under 1,800 square foot. This is a four bed, two and a half bath plan with a two car garage. 
now. Uh, the two car garage is the office right now. So we're not gonna go see the garage in this home. I'll show you the garage in the other home. Uh, but since it's an office, there's no need to show you. And when you come in, it's, you know, just a one level uh, entryway. You don't have a huge entryway, but we're in the 330s to 350 to 360 range. Um, so it's not a huge home, but that's part of the compromise. You're in Atlanta. The median price point is well above this. So you still have a really nice home. You've got the open floor plan uh, with a nice living room. It's a nice cozy little living room with open to the kitchen. Uh, and you've got your little dining room area there. It's a nice little home for this price. I was really impressed by it. Uh, it was, like I said, for this price, it's a really great home. You know, a lot of folks in this 330 to 350 price range, you can get a nice home in different areas, but with this home being in the city, right down the road from the airport, this is a great little community at a great price too. So you can see we're already getting into the dining area opens up to the kitchen. It's a nice little kitchen area set up. I love how the sink overlooks the living room. That's great. You've got your nice little area for your fridge, your electric stove. Some folks are into electric stoves, some are into gas. I compare it to like Samsung and Apple or like Xbox and PlayStation. Everyone has their preference. Let me know in the comments which one you like. Um, here we go. We've got the nice little double stainless steel sink. We've got the We've got the uh, dishwasher right here, stainless steel appliances in there for you. I really love the setup. You've got a nice little backsplash there. And right here, you've got the laundry room and the pantry. We're going to the pantry first, checking it out. Let's see what it looks like. It's a nice little size pantry. I mean, it's deep, that's good. So you can increase the size of it that way. And then you've also got this nice big laundry room next door that you can use as additional storage. That's what we use in my uh, laundry room. We have a nice little shelf in there too for all the extra stuff like the appliances that we use a lot in the kitchen as well. So that's nice. Uh, we've got our little coat closet right here. It's pretty big. It's not a little coat closet at all. It's pretty deep. So throw your vacuum in there, storage stuff. It's nice. Um, here we come. We're going to the half bath on the main level, which is nice. It's a little bit farther away from the living room, which is great especially when it comes to like taco night, you know? Um, I always make that joke, but it's something like in the house that I grew up in, in uh, when I was, you know, in high school, uh, college with my, it was my parents' house. It wasn't my house, but uh, the bathroom was right there in the living room and, you know, everyone heard your business. So it wasn't used a lot, of, you know, people would go to either my bathroom upstairs or go to my parents' bathroom because, you know, they didn't feel comfortable just putting on a show for everybody. Now we are upstairs and we are in the owner suite. Um, it's a nice owner suite. Uh, you know, it looks a little cramped. You have a king size bed in there with two end tables on each side though. So really you've got a lot in there. You've got a dresser in there. There's a chair in there. There's a lot of furniture cramped into this little room, but if you do it right, I think you could, it'd be a lot bigger. You know, when you start throwing stuff like chairs and stuff, it really shrinks it down a little bit, but you've got a real nice bathroom set up in here. When you come in, you've got your uh, toilet room with a door. So, you know, the, uh, your partner, your spouse can be getting ready at the sink and you can be in the bathroom and you're not disturbed. You got a nice soaking tub right there with a nice window, lets in plenty of beautiful light. You've got a stand-up shower with a glass door on it. It's nice. It's got plenty of shelves built in, so you're not gonna need a shower rack or anything. And here you can see again, it's a nice open space in the, in the bathroom. Um, you've got a little bit of privacy too, especially if you're trying to get ready at the sink and someone's in the bedroom, you can have your private time too. But look at this, look at this closet. This is a really nice closet. It, it was really impressive to me when I saw it and filmed it. Um, I was like, holy cow, that is a really good size closet for, for this price point, especially. Uh, my wife would uh, say challenge accepted on that closet right there for sure. I'd probably only still have about this much and my wife would take over the rest just like our closet is now. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice little house. Um, you know, it's, it's a great starter house if you don't have like a huge family. Um, it is a four bedroom house, uh, but you know, I would, I would use a bedroom as an office for me personally. You know, I have one daughter, 
this would be a good starter home or when you're first getting to Atlanta, a good first home to figure out kind of what area you're looking to stay into. Um, if you like it, you can stay there, you know, but or in four to five years when you've really kind of made your roots here in Atlanta, it's a great opportunity to move up to a bigger home, a bigger price point. Your investment has started to pay off, so you're ready to make that next step. Um, you've got some nice closets in here, nice bedroom. They, like I said, the setup was a little weird in here, the way they decorated it, just because they put stuff in front of doors a little bit so you couldn't open them fully, but it was still a great little home. I loved the home so much. And I mean, I'm not trying to knock anyone about designing or anything. It's, it's an art that I don't have at all. So they did a great job with it for sure. Um, but yeah, as far as the market goes, I'll tell you what, it has been nuts the last few weeks. Um, my videos, I have barely had any time to make videos, uh, editing, all that stuff. Uh, I get to it. I fell asleep at the computer the other day, editing this video itself, getting the uh, walkthrough footage for me to do this type of reaction type video to it. It has been crazy. I'll tell you, um, especially, you know, for me, I'm not bragging on myself, uh, but just to show you how busy it's been. Normally an agent, the average agent has six to 12 closings per year. Um, right now I have five homes under contract with folks, uh, folks from all over the country. You know, I got one couple, they saw my videos. They're moving here from California to Atlanta. So uh, hopefully in a few weeks, um, I will be uh, saying welcome to our new folks and thank you for watching our videos as well. Um, here's, you know, right here in this video or in this room right here, they are in their office, what they've turned into an office. So, I mean, there's plenty of room for this different kind of stuff. It's a great little setup. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's a great starter home. Um, if you're moving to Atlanta, um, but yeah, I think, uh, we've got a little bit more left of this house. Uh, but yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about the, the market too, you know, I have five under contract right now, like I said, but the main thing is, is multiple offers are starting to come back on some of these properties, you know? So there's a lot of, you have to see the property quickly and get in there quickly. And if not, it's probably going to be gone soon. Um, people are starting to get their tax returns back. So a lot of folks that are waiting on the sidelines, they're seeing that either interest rates are not going down or they, like I said, they have the down payment now with their tax returns or they're, they're starting to, to get back into the market. You know, um, it's getting to that busy season. A lot of folks start to get into the home search uh, after school or when school's about to let out, you know, people with kids, they're waiting for the school year to end. So they're getting into the market to move uh, during the summertime for that reason. Um, so it's really starting to pick back up. So. If you're ready to buy a home, you let me know. Give me a call, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, and we'll get it going. All right, so this next home here is the Rain Tree. It's one of the smaller models in Dillon Park, but I think they did a great job with the space. It's a little over 1,600 square foot. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath home and a two car garage on this. We'll actually go into the garage so you can see what it looks like and what the garage looks like here. So again, with the one story uh, entryway, but it's, it's still a really nice plan. I really like it. I like this one better than the other one actually, just because of the openness of it. Um, you can see it's nice and it flows well into a more traditional dining room setup. You've got your open kitchen that looks right into the living room with your traditional open, you know, open concept plans. It's funny. I say traditional open concept when open concept is a kind of a, the new thing it's been going on for, for, you know, a while now, but you, that's what everyone wants. And it's really nice. You can see they did put an Island in here. It doesn't come with an Island. This is part of the, the furnished version but it's great for one of those little cart islands. Uh, it really pops and it's a great place to prepare dinners and meals uh, just because you kind of need a little bit more counter space with it, but it's a great solution to the problem. 
Uh, we're going in here again with a nice size pantry. You can't beat that. Um, when you go into these homes, and one thing, especially with this price point, you got to understand, you've got to make compromises. Um, everyone wants the big house with the big piece of land, you know, to do whatever they want. And that's what everyone wants. You know, that's what I want. That's what everyone that I talk to every day wants. But you've got to start somewhere, A, and at certain, like, yeah, at any price point, you have to, you have to make compromises. If you, if you have a budget even of $500,000, you know, do you want a really, really big house? Do you want as much house as you can get? Or do you want to have a, maybe a little bit smaller of a house with, but you get a little bit more land out of it? You know, that's, that's the compromise that I'm talking about. Do you want to be in the city where it's a little bit more expensive? Or do you want to be a little bit further out and you save a little bit of money and get a bigger house and, you know, or a little bit more yard it just depends and that's there's nothing wrong with that with compromise a lot of folks are like uh they'll tell me you know i want this i want that like i want a pool i want five bedrooms i want an acre of land and i want a 2000 square foot house and i want it for under three hundred thousand dollars well you know some agents aren't going to be real with you they're going to say okay sounds good uh i'll talk to you later whenever we find it I want to create a workable plan for you. If you need to move here because you're relocating from a different state or whatever it is, and you're looking for a home, then we need to create a workable plan for you. And just, you know, being a yes man isn't going to be what does it. It's getting in there telling you, hey, if we want to make this work, let's do it together. Um, but before I keep going about it, look at this. You've got the laundry room upstairs. In the last home, it was next to the kitchen. Here, it's upstairs where all the bedrooms are, right next to the owner suite. I really like that. That's, that's a feature in a home that really a lot of people overlook. The reason why I like the laundry room upstairs, I mean, it's okay if it's next to the, to the, to the owner suite or if it's you know anywhere upstairs in general, because now you're not going up and down the stairs with loads of laundry. Um, my wife is notorious for falling downstairs. Um, if she happens to be doing laundry and she's got that load, that, that gives her a chance to fall down the stairs and it's just not safe. So uh, I really like homes. If, if I was to get a two-story home, I have a ranch right now, but if I was to get a two-story home, and what I tell a lot of folks too, it's, all, it's always a great, bonus feature kind of like the last house and this house where the uh where the uh, half bath was a little bit further away from the living room that's a nice thing to think about and so is having the laundry room where the bedrooms are um this house like you just saw it has another great walk-in closet you've got a double vanity here as well like the last one you've got your soaking tub a little bit of a different setup because you've got the toilet kind of in the back you don't have the private bathroom the private toilet area with the door, uh, but it's still kind of tucked away. So, you know, you're not putting on a show for someone that's in the bedroom. You've got a nice little shower, same shower model as the last one where you have the, the shells built in for your soap, shampoos, all your good stuff there. This is, like I said, I really like this setup. The compromise for this one for me would be there's no door right there for the toilet, um, but it's still a great home uh, at a great price, like I said. You're 15 minutes from the airport, so if you work at the airport or work in Atlanta, it's just a short little drive. I also really like this little loft area that they have set up here. Um, that'd be a great little open office area, study area for the kids. You know, it's even just something that you could use as a little decorative space. It's a nice, nice little spot. Um, you've got the full bath up here for the uh, two spare bedrooms. You've got a tub shower combo, which is, you know, pretty common, but it's got the built-in shelves here again, which is really nice. You've got the, the single sink, which is typical, and you've got the toilet in between. It's really nice. I really like this setup again. Um, like I said, I, I kind of like this setup more than the last one, but they're both great designs. Um, here we go again with, with the spare bedroom in this house. So this is the first spare bedroom. But yeah, uh, it's a great home at a great price. And 
you know, if, if you like it, just give me a call. If you're looking to move to Atlanta, I do resales, I do new construction, whatever you need, I'm your guy. Uh, just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I've got your back anytime, okay? Uh, that's what I'm here for. Uh, you know, some folks might think that I only do new construction. I don't represent any of these builders. I am a licensed buyer specialist in Atlanta. Uh, buyer specialist, I only work on the buy side. I only work with buyers. We have a listing specialist on our team. Uh, it makes us a little bit better in each facet of real estate. You know, um, instead of me being good at a bunch of different things, I like to focus on this uh, in just like how I focus on being a buyer's agent. My team also has uh, showing partners that I work with. I have transaction coordinators. That's how I'm able to get as many under contract that I do right now and still be able to provide my full services to everyone. So if you're interested in moving to the Atlanta area, give me a call um, and I will direct you to my website that we do not sell your information. A lot of the big companies out there, the big home search websites out there, as soon as you hit that request information button, you're getting a phone call from every agent and their mama, and they're all trying to sell you homes. Call me, go to, I'll give you a link to my website. I'll give you a username and password so you're all set up. Uh, we'll do, set up a home search for you to only get new and updated listings. You won't get emails for every home in Georgia. It'll be specifically what you want, and it's only new and updated listings. So you're not getting the spam mail of every the same home over and over again every day. So just call me. I'll set it up for you. You won't get a call from anyone but me whenever you hit a request information or a request showing. That's the nice thing about it, you know. Um, you get in there to, to some of these big guys, you hit it, and your phone will be ringing nonstop. If you've done it, you know I'm telling you the truth. So uh, make sure that you call me and we'll get you set up and we'll get you taken care of, whatever you need. All right, so that was this home here too. This is Dylan Park. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I really enjoyed this video this time, just talking to you. I felt like, you know, maybe we didn't even have enough time with 21 minutes. Um, that's how long the uh, walkthrough was. And I just kept going on. I feel like I didn't have enough time to tell you about everything, but hey, that's what the video next week is for. Uh, so like I said, if you are looking to move to the Atlanta area, give me a call today and uh, I will see y'all next week.